The real problem in the U.S. healthcare system that you have now is uh, the length of hospital stays. You've got patients with chronic conditions and uh, they need to be supervised by some type of medical professional, but staying in the hospital is a very costly option. So you've got to get patients out of the hospital. How do you do it without keeping them monitored by a healthcare professional? Enter remote patient monitoring. These devices, which could be installed in a patient's house, it might be as simple as a uh, small device that measures a patient's glucose and notifies a nurse if there's any spikes. They're going to enable some chronically ill patients to leave the hospital and get home and be with their families. And so it's an incredibly interesting market and for that reason we've seen tremendous revenue growth. I mean, between 2011 and 2012, uh, our report found 17% revenue growth, which is fairly high for the medical device industry. One thing that's interesting to note is that not only is there intense revenue growth that we've seen and demand for these devices, but hospitals plan to purchase more. We know that from surveys of hospital IT directors, CIOs, they're making budgets that are planning to, for purchases of uh, remote patient monitoring equipment. Calorama believes that this will continue to be an attractive market and that we'll see growth rates like we've seen uh, in the past year, the past five years really. Uh, it's rare for medical device markets to see such intense revenue growth and it's rare for that growth to be consistent. But in this case, we expect that will continue. Why? You might say that remote patient monitoring is a device product area that's maybe not too big to fail, but too good to fail. It's too good of a concept. Everybody's behind it. Uh, healthcare payers want it, hospitals want it, patients want it, doctors want it. Everybody's incentivized to make sure these systems succeed. Why? You want to get that patient out of the hospital and at home. We've covered this for five years as Calorama Information, publishing a full study of the market for these devices. And we found it necessary now to make a separation between two types. So there's remote patient monitoring in the hospital where it's a nurse on one floor monitors a patient that might be on, on another floor and might monitor several patients in the hospital. And then there's what we call telemedicine where a patient is at home and uh, they're being monitored by a physician or nurse or a technician far away. We've made that segmentation because there really are two different businesses. And uh, one of the great things about market research when it's done well is that you delineate for the customer what the breakouts of the market are so that they can attack that part of the market that they want to get into in their business.